Instagram. Now from hate to love, in all the noise about gay marriage these past few days, the bigger phenomenon, heterosexual marriage, has been rather overlooked. It is, we're told, the basic building block of the state, vital for the secure upbringing of children and an institution in trouble, which almost all political parties claim to be keen to support. Should it be privileged over other types of family life? Before we talk it over, Zoe Conway reports and begins with a question every couple gets asked. How did you two meet? The moment that you met. Moment? Oh, blimey, that's a bit hard to say. I just walked across the floor and asked my wife for a dance. Asked me for a dance, yes, and I said, I don't think so. No, I didn't. I did say I would. <laughs> I had to warn her about her small dresses whilst working behind the counter in the shop that I used to run. He was telling um, me I was showing too much leg and <laughs> I'd give the customers a heart attack. The tendency was in those days to grab the first female uh, that you could and uh, kiss, give her a kiss on New Year's Eve. So I know exactly to the second when that happened. And we uh, just kissed and that was it. We, and we just within a month, I knew this was going to be the one. I remember how I thrilled at the sight of you. If you want to understand married life, you need to come to East Dorset. Two thirds of adults here are married the highest proportion in all of England and Wales. Are you nervous? Yeah. Not at the moment. <laughs> I'm okay at the moment. Yeah. Kaylee Wallace is surprisingly calm. Maybe that's because, like many brides, she already lives with the groom and they've had a baby together. Do you think that you now feel that something fundamentally has changed yeah. yes. because you're now married. Yes. yes. What, what, what is that? Um, it just is feels that... like you've, like, not exactly found the you've missing piece of the puzzle. Yeah, you've connected together. Yeah, it's together. another way of connecting, feeling closer. And it, it, I think it just bonds you together more because you're actually standing up in front of all your friends and families to and say, I am committed to this yeah. relationship. Kiss for the bride, please. <laughs> Marriage has been in decline for decades. Roughly half the number of people get married today compared to 1970. 42% of marriages end in divorce. But the number of people cohabiting has increased dramatically since 1979. Today, one in six people cohabit. In terms of breakups involving children, fewer than one in 10 married couples will split up by their first child's fifth birthday. For cohabiting couples, it's one in three. Do you think marriage is important for society? Yes. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. For people like Mark and Kaylee, and you know these two here, that definitely you together, you together, and it's good to be married for your children. You know, it's nice to have your mum and dad together. Unlike me, where I grew up, well, just a mother, so that's probably why I wouldn't get married. But not everyone's convinced that marriage benefits children. Without the pressure of marriage, some relationships work better. You sound like you're talking from experience. <laughs> I, was, I was married for seven years. Um, my husband left me a year ago. So, yeah, we tried to stick it out for the children, but it wasn't fair on them. The UK has one of the highest rates of family breakdown in the Western world. Children in Britain are less likely to live with both parents than children in Germany, France and the US. Fewer than 70% live with their mother and father. I remember how I thrilled at the sight of you. At Wimborne Bowls Club, more than 600 years worth of marriage is playing out on the green. Almost all of the couples playing have been married for more than 40 years. So how have they managed to stay together for so long? Is there something special about the institution of marriage that's kept them united? Or is it more about them as people?
They're characteristics that we need to understand. On that question, experts don't agree. <laughs> Getting married is a different level altogether. You've got a very public commitment in front of family, friends, the state, uh, the community. It's clear and it's much harder to get married and it's much harder to uh, get out of being married. And so there's a very public commitment there. Couples that get married have different characteristics to couples that choose to cohabit. Um, we can observe some of them very easily. For example, we can observe that couples that choose to get married have higher levels of education, they have higher professional occupations, um, they more like to own their own home and have higher incomes. And lots of these factors will contribute to whether they um, separate or not in the long term. Marriage amongst high income groups is on the rise. 66% of people in the top social class, such as senior managers, are married. Whilst only 44% are married in the bottom social class, which includes manual workers. So does this mean there's a financial barrier to marriage? Lorna and Bill Foreman have been married for 55 years. They think young couples could do with some help from the government. Times are not no, easy at the moment. No, they're not easy. For most couples. And even if they're living in a flat, they need something. You've still got to buy furniture and that sort of anything to help people get started. That's it. But I know these days people um, off and they get married and they want everything. I mean, we started, we got married, we had a bed kitchen table and two chairs and when we had visitors they sat on boxes and things because we didn't have because we couldn't afford it but look at you Len you brush up nice <laughs> yes he does look bad I mean you can see can't you why mm -hmm. I fell for him well, I mean, and this is let, let's face it I mean she was a, a smasher Len and Diana Pierce have been married for 62 years do you think that it's any business of the government, whether mm. people are married or not? No, no business not at, at all. all. No, at all. Definitely not. No. It's a personal thing between the couple. Yeah. It's nothing to do with the government at all. Why they want to poke their Nose. noses in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Arguments may rage about what this certificate means but perhaps it's laughter that makes a marriage worth the paper it's written on. <laughs> My wife had a hip operation, right? Oh. And when she came home, they'd given her a mechanical fingers to put her knickers on. So I said to her one day, that's bloody stupid, what are you doing that for? I had to put your knickers up, and I got them halfway up, and I thought, bloody hell, I must be old, because I was trying to get these off years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that on television for God. <laughs>